on and say yes, 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 yeah, 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 I need about 10 people to stand on their feet and mean it when they say it this high, yeah, don't play with it, don't play with it, he wants all of you. Can you say yes? Yeah. Oh, imagine what that sounds like to God. Can you imagine what it sounds like to God? <laughs> oh, yeah. One more time. No music, no music. Woo! Yeah, he want to hear from you. He want to hear from you. God. The blessings of God are yes and amen. 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 My soul says yes. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Ah, hey, yeah, oh yeah, come on and give God a praise, you can stay there, you can stay there, I love this worship flow we got going, Woo. thank you God, most gracious and heavenly Father God, thank you for you being in charge today. <laughs> Thank you for you being our order of service. Thank you for you being in control. So God, now I pray for preaching power, preaching permission, and preaching productivity. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise God. Amen. To the God of this whole universe. To the God of this whole universe. In case y'all missed it, he's got the whole world in his hands. <laughs> There's a song that Aunt Charles sings that says, All of the world's problems is in his hands. But one thing about it, if I don't wake up, in the morning, it's all in God's hands. To our pastor and first lady, Apostle Ross and Lady Ross, come on and celebrate our angels. <laughs> to the leadership of this church, our visitors, our members, it's just good to be here. Second Chronicles 7. 14. <laughs> I believe there's some Bible scholars in here. There's some people have been calling on the name of the Lord in this house. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. If my people, which are called by 
my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn, somebody ought to say turn, from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal the land. We want to talk about this morning, my country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. You may be seated. Say it again, Mayor Brown. Ha. Woo. God, I just need your glory. I need your glory, God. I don't need nothing else. I need God's glory. Woo. You know, this morning, I was driving to church, and I reached out to a friend, and I said, I need somebody to pray with me. Getting ready to launch out into the deep. I don't even know what that means, Lord. I don't know what it is you want me to do. But he says, a just man's steps are ordered by the Lord. The Lord gave me uh, some instructions. And I had not been doing them. I was like, Sister Pontu, it was yes, but. Yes, but I'm in school. Yes, but I'm trying to get my career together. Yes, but things ain't where I want them to be. I was giving, I was giving God instructions while he was giving me instructions. Ooh, somebody said, won't he do it? So this morning, I, sometimes you just ought to get tired of being in war. <clears throat> and I got up this morning, I said, God, I'm finna launch out. I don't see the resources. I received that prayer, Sister Pascal. I don't see the resources of what vision you've given me. But I declare that today I'm launching out into the deep. So I got to the church, Mayor Brown, and God gave me this message. Now I need to tell you, this is not about no views. It's not a race thing. It's not a black thing. It's not a white thing. It's a red thing. Mm. somebody got to catch that on their way home. It's not a black thing. It's not a white thing. It's a red thing. It's about the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood. Being a youth pastor, I love being a youth pastor. I love young people. I love working with children. And, and when I see things that happen in our community, like what has transpired this week, it bothers me, Sister Carolyn. It bothers me. Being a Christian, a man of God, a man that loves God, and I see a presidential election like the one we are enduring this year. Sister Vaughn, it vexes me. Being a man, Brother Harris, and I go to a restaurant, and I'm confused because I don't know who's going to be in the bathroom with me. It vexes me. Being a person that loves God, and I see churches looking like the world, but the world not looking like the church. Son, it, 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 it bothers me. It bothers me when I can log on Facebook and, and, and people can bash each other and put each other down and, and degrade one another and sometimes have the audacity to take scripture to do it. Alyssa, being a man that's optimistic, and I love to laugh. I'm kind of goofy a little bit, and I love to be upbeat, and I see so many people living in turmoil. God, I know you have plans for my people better than where we are. And I begin to ask myself, Lady Ross, happy birthday, lady. Thank you. Happy birthday. I begin to ask myself, God, are we this oppressed? These are some questions I asked myself just this week. God, what have we been doing all this time? We've been in church all this time. We've been praying and pleading, and, and, and God, this is where we are? 
God, this is a country. This is where we are. And I, I watched everyone put the post up. Well, it's time for the country to pray. It's time for the country to pray. Here's my problem. Thank you, Sister Vaughn. Here's my problem with that, and this is what God spoke to me. First off, everybody can't pray. Okay? Let's say that. Let's put it out there. Amen. Now, let me make a disclaimer first. These are not my views on speaking what God spoke to me this week. Amen. But a church that don't affect this community is an ineffective church. So we got to sometimes stop and talk about what's going on. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Everybody can't pray. Some people need to be called into repentance. Uh-oh. We don't like that R word. You know, you want me to declare blessings, and you want me to declare homes and cars and automobiles, but we don't like to talk about repentance. Now, I don't know the fella in New Orleans, the fella in Detroit, and feel it made me feel some kind of way because I know black men, and I want them to be strong and mighty. So I'm not saying they deserved it. I'm talking about the country. The country. And, and, and being someone who has lost a friend that was shot by a police officer, white police officer, it made me, Mario, feel some feelings that probably wasn't of God. I was angry. It took me back to, to June 19th, June 19th, June 19th, a day i never forget, the phone call and how it made me feel and, and the emotions that were attached, being in disbelief, and I can't believe this is happening. Say he's not gone and calling his phone hoping he pick up because people are, are lying. It can't be true. It made me go back to that day. And then I began to think about my brothers. I got three brothers, Brandon, Eric, and Luke. Sometimes we good. Sometimes we not good. Sometimes we go a couple of days and don't talk. Sometimes we talk two, three times a day. And I thought about the times that we've taken advantage of having each other in our lives. And then I thought about my nephews. They're so young. They haven't even gotten a, a taste of life yet. All of this was going through my mind. And my emotions, Kim, were all over the place. God, our black men, our black men, our black men, our, our black men. And, 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 and let me tell you, there are good cops and bad cops. There are good black people and bad black people. Come on, somebody. So that's not what I want to deal with today. I want to deal with the church. The church. The church. The church. Where the church at? Where is the church? Where is the church? Where is the church on these issues? Where are the church when things happen? We can't pray nowhere, but then let there be a catastrophe in the country, and they call for prayer. Everybody, everybody coming out the closet but the church. The church don't want to offend nobody. The church don't want to be caught up in, in laws. And the church don't want to make anyone mad or make anyone uncomfortable. The devil is a lie. God told me this week that the world is waiting on the manifestations of God. Come on, somebody. They are waiting on the miracles. God says that I have not run out of miracles, but I need my church to line back up with me. I had to get in the face of God this week, and that wasn't what I wanted him to tell me. I felt like he was rebuking me instead of encouraging me, but he's let me know that the church is not in position. And this country is not in shape to call on the name of the Lord because there's too much unlawful and ungodly things going on in the church. Let's deal with the second chronicles. 7 and 14, if my people, if my people, if my people, <laughs> not my black people, not my white people, not my Jews, not my Gentiles, not my Republicans, not my Democrats, not, not my, my, my rich people, not my poor people, my, not my North End people, my West End people, my Aubrey people, where you at now? My single people, my married people, my young people, my old people, you know how we label folks. He says, if my people. 
first thing we need to do is make sure we're part of God's people. We need to make sure we're a part of God's kingdom. And being part of God's people ain't about taking pictures on Sunday. This is my church flow. I went to church today. It ain't about church. I crucify every religious demon. We got enough Pharisees and Sadducees that come to church and they know the law. They know it from the front door to the back door. They know how to run every office in the church. They know how to be an usher. They know how to be a choir member. They know how to run the media. They know how to serve the food. They know how to clean up. Oh, come on somebody. I don't want to be a Pharisee. I don't want to be a Sadducee. I need to sit down and be a disciple. I got to sit down and learn some things. Scripture reminds me that, that I thought I knew. I really don't know. I count it as done. I count it as mess. I count it as waste. What I thought I knew. If my people who are called by my name my name is something about his name. <laughs> oh, that's enough to lose your mind right there. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. My son shall bow. My daughters shall bow. This country shall bow. Donald Trump shall bow. Hillary Clinton shall bow. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue will confess that he is Lord. It's about his name. And there's so much to go on, and it's not stamped in the name of Jesus. I had a conversation with someone two weeks ago, left them feeling some kind of way, but I was free. They came to me, and they had this youth program Mario put together that they wanted me to work with them on. Sounded good. But my response was, but what did God say? God ain't gave me the okay to go forward here. I can't go forward. If God don't say go, I can't go. There was a quickening in my spirit while I was talking to him. I come to let you know to start listening to the Holy Spirit. Come against all them their voices. We got too many voices in our ear. As a matter of fact, I bind that bipolar Christian right now in the name of Jesus. Every hot topic that comes your way, <laughs> you over here and over there, you all over the world, a conference over here and a conference over there, you better quit running, waiting on a prophet to speak, a life into your, speak life into your life and learn how to speak life into your own life. Every time somebody got something going, I got to run over there because I'm waiting on God and I'm the, I got a blessing waiting on me, baby. You need to sit down and get taught. Because see, what happens is we develop a form of godliness, but deny the power. Hmm, what does that mean, brother preacher? Have you ever met men, have y'all ever met a woman that looked good? She got the form, but she has no virtue. She ain't worth nothing. You will never introduce her to mama. You ain't going to wife her, but she's a bad bama jamma. She had a form, but she denied her power. Woman, have y'all ever met a man that had a physique and he looked it good, the six-pack, and he had the chest and, and the arms, and he knew how to make you say, mm, mm, mm. When you seen him, he had a form. But that scound booger didn't know how to pump gas. He couldn't cut the yard. He didn't have a job. He had kids all over the world. He had a form, but he didn't have no power. God delivered me from powerless saints that have been churched in and churched out, but wouldn't know the voice of God if he came and sat down beside you right now. And they shall know my voice. I'm a stranger. They will not follow. Ha. A lies can call me, and when I pick up the phone without knowing the number, I can recognize his voice. 
because I've spent time with you, my brother, and we we break bread together, we've cried together, we've laughed together, and I, I know my brother. Now, Pluke can call me. Love Pluke, he's still my brother, but me and Pluke can't sit down in fellowship like me and Elias. So if Pluke called me, the first thing I'm going to ask is, who is this? Because why? His voice is a little strange on the telephone. God is talking. Just because you don't hear him don't mean God ain't talking. God, I declare and decree my country tis of thee. <laughs> Sweet land of liberty. God is still moving. God is still talking. You need to check your lines of communication. See, sometimes we're in a bad era, area. Y'all remember the commercial, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Sometimes when we pray and that's what we're doing, we're asking God, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? You in a bad area. It's time for you to move somewhere where you can get a better connection. Come on, somebody. Sometimes I got to put my phone up. Can't I? I'm trying to get a signal. I'm trying to get a signal. I'm preaching and y'all sitting there. I'm trying to get a signal to heaven. I'm trying to get a signal and I need the right connection. So some of us need to move to another area. Ah. Woo! Now, here's what I know about moving to another area. See, I live out there in Aubrey, and I know what kind of connections we get in Aubrey. Some of us don't need to move to another area. Some of us need to change providers. If my people, <laughs> if my people who are called by my name, you better change providers. You got to quit going and turning tricks so you can get your light bill paid. It's time to change providers. <laughs> you broken and you feel unloved, so you sleep with everybody come your way so you can feel good. You need to change providers. My job, I ain't, got, I ain't making no money, so I'm going to go out here and I'm going to move these bricks around and I'm going to sell me a little dope. You need to change providers. I'm down and depressed and oppressed, so I got to run to the liquor store every day. You need to change providers. If my people who are called by my name, hmm, whoo, then he says, if you would just humble yourself. Let me tell you an another story. I'm a story guy, Mario. I was at work, and, and, and I was upset about something. And, and I'm like, Pastor, I had a right, but I didn't have a reason. Or was it I had a reason, but didn't have a right? One, one of them. One of the two. Amen. I, mean, I had a reason, but I didn't have a right. I went over to Sister Pontu class. How do you look at this? I'm mad, and you can you believe it says such and such and such? Now she my friend, and y'all know how we want our friends to do. We want our friends. No, they didn't, and, and you should have said. And and, and I go with you. I got your back. And she says, "What's your real issue?" <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna hold up, Sister. Time out. I'm the victim here. You know something that I learned this week? Everybody want to play the victim. Black man killed, we the victim. Cops killed, we the victim. <laughs> Saints, we are not victors. The word says that we are victors. Uh-oh, somebody should have lost it right there because somebody been living in a victimized mentality for way too long. Baby, you are no longer a victim. Uh, it got quiet because y'all like being victims. You know, people feel sorry for you. You can get pity when you're the victim. And, and people text you these little prayers. And I'm praying for you. And I'm encouraging you. And is it anything I can do for you? And, and, and you want me to come by and talk with you? Because we play victim because we like the attention. I pray the spirit of adoption over you. That you will be adopted into God's family. Where you will no longer need to be a victim. But you will move over to being a victor. Dominion. You, if you're not walking in dominion over some things in your life, you're still a victim, baby. 
No fear here. Somebody said no fear here. You can't be afraid to come out of being victimized. Woo. That's a whole nother sermon for another Sunday. Yeah, it happened. It's true. I did it. I got caught up. I was a victim. I get over it. I'm a victor. Come on, somebody. Oh, that ain't that preaching ain't popular because I want y'all want me to tell you no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And baby, if you just come to the altar, I'm gonna pray for you. You like being a victim. Well, keep your victim self in a seat because I'm a victor. I got too much in me to stay in a victim state of being. Lord, deliver me from victimized saints. Huh. Woo! That'll preach all by itself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's able. Let me just tell you that. Let me, let me, let me tell you, in case y'all don't know, this is a secret just between us, okay? But this is one of them good secrets that y'all can go tell everybody. Y'all ready for the secret? Y'all ready? He's able. <laughs> now go tell that. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray. <laughs> now, let's, let me, let's deal with this praying thing. I believe in the power of prayer. I'm a praying man. I believe in the power of prayer and I believe in the power of agreement. Do I even have to go there? Deb, I need to go there. Go there. Let me tell you something. Everybody can't pray for you. Everybody can't pray. I had a I had a young lady inbox me today. She said, pray for me. I said, sure, baby, no problem. Anything specific you want me to touch with? She said, not really. I just need somebody I know that can touch and agree with God on my behalf. That said so much to me. She recognized she needed some help, and she recognized the power of agreement. Just because you open your mouth and some words come out, don't make it prayer. Don't make it prayer. It don't make it prayer. My mama's sitting over there on the left side of, of the church. I can ask my mama for something, and I get it. You can't ask her for the same thing I asked her for. Because of the blood... <laughs> <laughs> because of the blood, I have some rights that you don't have. <laughs> now let me bring it to the kingdom. <laughs> because of the blood, we got some rights that the world don't have. I can ask my daddy for some things because he has a cattle of a thousand hills. And he shall supply every one of my needs according to his riches and glory. <laughs> Woo! So, I ain't discrediting prayer, but I am saying make sure you know who you're praying to. Make sure you know who you're praying to. Woo! Because everybody ain't praying to God. And God ain't listening to everybody. I bet the pharaohs, people, the kings, and whoever was in the sea, I bet they were praying. Did y'all not hear me? <laughs> I bet they were praying, but it didn't stop the sea from drowning them. Everybody can't pray. Now, it's God's will that everybody pray. It's God's will that everybody be saved. But we got to learn some kingdom stuff. You know, we got to quit running to Facebook. Facebook ain't no pastor. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Everybody want to send out these chain letters and these prayers on Facebook. Baby, God ain't in that. If I send this to 20 people, I'm still going to be favored. <laughs> God still going to love me. <laughs> he still died on the cross for me. Come on. 
Now, don't get me wrong. You know, I like reading because I need inspiration while I'm at work, you know. But God, it, here, I'm not going to go to hell. I'm not going to die in seven days if I don't send it to 20 people. Come on, somebody. Come on now. The devil is a lie. That ain't my God. God wouldn't do me like that because I didn't text 20 people in 10 minutes. That is not God. That's not God. That's why we can't trust everybody that's praying for us. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. Got to be humble. I had to get humble. Since Punto had to get humble, I had to look in there. Let me share this for free. Young people, this is about to bless you right here. Those of y'all that's looking for friends and loved ones and homies and posses, surround yourself around people that will hold that mirror for you. What do you mean, brother preacher? When I got up this morning, I got dressed. And I thought I looked good. Somebody said, Rev, you look good. <laughs> Appreciate that. So uh, I looked at myself, and I turned to the side, and I turned to the other side. But when I got to church, Reverend Hill can look at me from the back, or he can tell me about a belt loop I missed, or that my shoe is untied, or something that I missed that I didn't see. You need somebody that can hold that mirror for you. That can let you know you really ain't got it all together. You walking around thinking you fly, waiting on people to compliment you, but you got a hole in the back of your pants. Come on, somebody. Oh, they hang it too long. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you always stay humble, humble, oh, wretched man that I am. Stay humble and pray. Seek my face. Seek my face. Seek my face. We've had an awesome worship experience this morning. What kind of worship experience would we have had if Brandon and Tony hadn't showed up? What my music saints at? <laughs> How many people woke up this morning? I'd be glad when Pastor and Lady get back. Where my pastor saints at? <laughs> Sometimes I. <laughs> Lady Ross said, I ain't here. Look, sometimes, sometimes you have to know how to get in the face of God for yourself. So a couple of weeks ago, no, was it two weeks? Not two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And just gonna be in a lot of my sermons, don't she? Right, that woman, she be ministering to you everywhere you go. I don't care where you at. She got a word for you. I have to remind her, don't give me no word today. I want to be your friend today. You know? <laughs> so, so I went by the house to help her with a homework assignment. I sat there and she sat there, and we had to do a mock counseling session. Am I talking too much or I can tell it? Okay, so we were doing this, this counseling session and she's sitting there and I'm sitting there and she said, the camera's rolling, how you feeling, Cor? I went to, this is what's going on and this is what's going on and this is what makes me feel and I'm tired of this and I'm ready to give up and I don't know da 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 She had nothing to say. She, as a counselor, I ain't giving nothing. I was going on and on and on, and she looking at the clock like, can you, you know, wind this up? And so we kept talking and kept talking. So finally, she cut the camera off. She said, let me put my minister hat back on. <laughs> and she hurt my feelings so bad that day. <laughs> my feelings get hurt a lot, amen. It's, it's all good. But I don't stay in my feelings, amen. Okay, so when I left her house, I left feeling better but kind of low. Uh, because God had gave me a hard word, you know, and the word was I had not done what he told me to do. So I was feeling lost and cloudy. Went back to work, and how many of you know it's hard to work when you're going through? So I found myself coming, oh, this on Facebook. I came down to the church <laughs> while I was at work. <laughs> and I had to get in the face of God. 
I had to get in the face of God on my lunch break. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But we have to know how not to rely on the praise team, how not to rely on the pastor. Sometimes you can't find your prayer partner. You know, sometimes Lady Rose got things going. I didn't text Lady Rose. He's like, look, Corey, I'm busy. I will call you when I leave this meeting. You know, we have to, I must just, can I say it, Kendall? Sometimes we got to grow up. PJ wearing pull-ups right now. So when he mess on himself, if mom and daddy don't change it quick enough, I bet he'll come up out that pull-up. Come on, somebody. Only a baby will mess on theyself and then set in it. Mm -mm. You got to grow up, baby. Got to grow up. Got to grow up. I'm telling you, it's time for us to grow up. We got to quit messing on ourselves and then setting in that mess and everybody can smell you and nobody want to change you, and you having a pity party because, oh, woe is me. Nobody loves me. Baby, stand up, take your diaper off, wipe your booty, and put on a new diaper. Come on, somebody. We can't, if PJ stayed in diapers, we would consider it a deformity. We would consider him developing, developmentally delayed, but thank God it shall not come nigh thy dwelling. Uh-oh, come on, somebody should have been shouting right there. Ain't nothing delayed about me. The Bible says that we go from faith to faith, glory to glory. We should be ever growing, ever growing, ever growing, growing, growing. Humble themselves, seek thy face. You got to seek him. You have to seek him. How do I seek him, Corey? I feel, I feel weird. I feel odd. I got my hands up, and I don't know what to say. And I can't worship him like you. Baby, you got to tune out the noise, and that's why it's called faith. You're supposed to feel uncomfortable because you're new to it. You're supposed to feel weird because it's new to it. The devil don't want you to get in God's face. The, God, the, devil, the devil don't want you to get in God's face. Let me get this, put this out there. Worship going forth. Elder Foreman says, lift your hands. Who you think don't want your hand to go up? God or Satan? It don't take all that. Later on, singing that song, 10 minutes. Who you think wants you to sit down? Who you think wants you to fall asleep while you're reading your word? Who you think keep you where you can't talk when you're praying? I don't know what to say. Baby, find you some scriptures. Google it if you have to. Find you some scriptures about what you're going through. And begin to speak it. I've given this testimony before. I'm almost done. I feel like I've been preaching a while. I, I, um, I used to deal with depression. Everybody know that. I went to the altar. I prayed, counseling. I even went to see me a therapist. You know how I overcame it? I spoke scriptures against what I was going through. Every morning, I believe in positive affirmations. Every morning I got up, the joy of the Lord is my strength. God will keep me in perfect peace if I keep my mind stayed on him. Let the mind of Christ be also in me. I had to speak it every day, every day. Every day, and I began to learn how to pray for real. Come on. You see, I knew how to pray like Brother Stanley. <laughs> you know, but Brother Stanley prayers were good for Brother Stanley. I needed an elder Corey prayer. Yeah, humble yourselves and pray. Seek thy face. You, you're, young people, you're not too young to seek God. You're not too young to seek him. And if you have anybody that don't like that you seek them or got something crazy to say, man, you like them church folks, run away from them. <laughs> run away from them. Okay? God will give you a season to go back to them, but right now, run away from them. 
Learn how to seek his face. Seek his face. Where I'm at. Amen. Mm. Somebody say it for me so y'all won't be mad at me. Turn from your wicked ways. Can I, can I be real? I got some wicked ways. You got some wicked ways. We got some wicked ways. It's real. You know, I mean, unless we got caught up. What was his name? Enoch in the Old Testament got caught up. He was, this, what's his name? Enos. He got caught up. Amen. Other, while you still here, no good thing dwells in your flesh. No good thing. Now, let me help those of you that like to point out other people's downfalls. In case you didn't know this, Jesus died on the cross for you too. <laughs> Why are you acting like you all that and you heaven bound? He took your sins to the cross too. What that mean? That mean you got some. You got some. God's still working on you. God's still work. He working on me. <laughs> he working. Thank God he working on me. You know, but we got to quit putting other people down. It's one thing to correct someone out of love. Now, when I left Jessica, and I, I consider Phil and Jessica my brother and my sister. I don't even call them friends no more. They my brother and my sister. You know, when I went to her and she gave me a word, I felt some kind of way, yes, but it made me better. It made me better. But then we have some saints that like to put other folks down. Here's how you know when you're putting somebody down. When you got to say it to somebody else before you say it to them. Yeah, that ain't God. God didn't tell you to tell Sister Harris and then come tell me. Because a lot of times what we want is for Sister Harris to validate what you're saying and see if she agree with you or not. He that has an ear, let him hear. That's a good sign that you're putting somebody down. We come, forsake not the assembly of yourselves. We come to exalt. We come to build up. We come to build the kingdom of heaven. Now, yes, you will have to correct someone, but when you do it, you're going to do it out of love. Whew, I'd have been in that pastor's study back there probably more than anybody else in leadership. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be real, don't it? And I done had to talk about some uncomfortable things in that room back there. One thing about a leader and the people of God, sometimes we got to get naked before each other. When Jesus and his disciples, and they were traveling from country to country, you think they didn't have to get naked and bath around each other sometimes? Come on. They, ain't ha they didn't have a holiday inn. There wasn't no comfort inn. <laughs> Okay, so it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. And I had to step back there, and I had to explain a lot of stuff that was going on. But when I left out, I left healed. God's word, Sister Harris, is sharper than a two-edged sword. So sometimes that word going to cut you, but by his stripes, I am healed. So when it cut me, it also healed me. Here's how you know when it ain't God, when you cut me and I'm still bleeding. I'm still bleeding. People can hurt you, man. People can hurt you. People can hurt you with their words. It shall not come, not thy dwelling, not in this house, not another day, not another second, where we hurt one another. We are a healed people. We are a healed people. I could talk some more on that wicked ways. Then when I hear from heaven. Watch this. Now that big old long scripture, and you mean to tell me God ain't heard to now? That's real. 
you can you can you can go to all the protests you want to go to. You can make the statuses on Facebook you want to make. I'm talking about it because that's when God gave me my word. I was grieved by a lot of the things I saw on Facebook, and I had to to log out of my Facebook app because it was bringing vexation to my spirit. And so God had to remind me of this scripture. And I went to it. God ain't heard us until we get way down there. So we can't skip steps. There's some things you got. What is a covenant? What is a covenant? I think you talked about that. A covenant is you do this, then I do this. Now, God is not a man that he can lie. He's going to do his, but it be us that back up. Us that forget. Us that get comfortable. And then it be us that say, yes, but. Then will I hear from heaven. Saints, I say again in my closing, what we are experiencing is not a Democrat or a Republican thing. It's not a black nor a white thing. It's a red thing. It's a red thing. He called us to be the light of the world. Is your light shining? Can people see God? Even when you're angry, can people still see God in you? When there's injustices, can people still see God in you? When things are going on, and we can bring this thing all the way home. When things are going on in our school district, are you waiting on the Cure Index to come out to see what it say, or are you praying? Hmm. If pastor don't show up next Sunday, are you wondering if something's going on in their marriage, or are you still exalting them? Come on, somebody. Where you lie? Where are you? Are you pulling me or rubbing me up to the side? What's really going on? Pastor can't be down there with that grandbaby that long. Uh-oh. Did I say something? He can't, can't he? <laughs> say it again. <laughs> yes, he can if you want. All right now. <laughs> but we got to make sure we're always being the church. Then will I hear from heaven. Forgive their sin. Who is the there? We want God to forgive the police officer because he the one that did wrong. We want God to forgive the man that shot the cop cops because he the one that did wrong. No, that ain't the there. Because they ain't the one that was praying. They ain't the one that was repenting. If my people, my people got to repent. My people got to pray. My people got to humble themselves. And my people got to be forgiven. Oh, this is real stuff right here. This is this kingdom talk. With your Holy Ghost filled self. You got sins? You got sins. Follow me to the house. I'll tell you about some of them. I got some. And I stand in need of forgiveness. I stand in need of forgiveness. Get this. My country need me to be forgiven. My family need me to be forgiven. Because I can't go forward in error. I can't go forward in sin. Sin handicaps us. Sin paralyzes us. Sin Stops the manifestations of God. I'm sorry. I know I called y'all up early. <laughs> Amen. But it's time for prayer. It's time for prayer. Ye are the salt of the world. And if you lose your saltness, if you lose your flavor, if you lose what keeps the earth, what does salt do? Salt preserves. It keeps it whole. If we ain't got no salt, guess what it does? It spoils, it rots. It's not good for nothing. So I, you need your sins forgiven. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what your title is. You need your sins forgiven. I don't care how long you've been saved. You need your sins forgiven. Ain't nobody at the altar yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't care how long you've been married, been single. You need your sins forgiven. Well, I go to the altar myself because I need mine forgiven. I need to be healed. My family needs to be healed. Then, 
what I forgive you of your sin. And in conclusion, I heal your land. 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 I heal your marriage. I heal your family. I heal your finances. I heal your job. I heal your mind battles. I heal your scars. I heal your battle wounds. I heal the, the excessive grief. I heal the depression. I heal the cancer. I heal the diabetes. I heal the loneliness. I heal the isolation. I heal the low self-esteem. I heal it. If my people who are called by my name will humble ourselves and pray. I'm saying our because I'm right there with you today, baby. Seek thy <laughs> thy face will I seek most gracious and heavenly father God we just thank you today for the masses the word that you have for all of us father God thank you God that you're still speaking you're ever present with us God God we acknowledge today that you are sovereign you are a sovereign God but most of all God you are a forgiving God and God, I stand on today, God, st thanking you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your forgiveness, God. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your forgiving power. Now, Lord, concerning the issues of our land, concerning our physical country and our personal country, God, you know what each person is standing in need of. God, I pray, Heavenly Father, that you would help us to turn. No good thing dwells in our flesh. We don't want to turn from our wicked ways. Help us to turn, God. Help us to recognize what needs to be turned, God. Help us to understand when it's you and when it's not you, Father God. Teach us how to seek your face. Teach us how to get in your presence, God. Help us to develop a prayer life. Help us to develop a study life, God. God, help us, God, to be close to you. Those things that are hindrances that hurt us, help us, God. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would help us to not return back to those wicked things. Give us strength and dominion. God, we pray, Heavenly Father, that as we repent of our sins, I pray collectively that you know individually that we all have fallen short. Romans 3 and 23. But God, we don't stay on Romans 3 and 23. God, we thank you for Romans 8 and 28. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, God. God, concerning our countries. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we will stay in a place of repentance. We'll stay in a place of repentance that you would hear from heaven, God. God, you said in your word that I'm looking for a people that I can call my sons and daughters, and they can call me their God. God, you are our God. You are our God. We have built an altar. Now, God, send a fire. Send a fire, God. Send a fire. Send a fire. And let it burn out any excess baggage that should not be in our country. God, we lift up our presidential election. God, let it be about you. God, your word says that the heart of the king is in your hand. You can turn it either way you desire, Father God. God, I pray that you send your Holy Ghost fire upon our candidates. Baptize them in the name of Jesus, God. God, it's not too late for them to be saved, oh God. Oh, God, I pray, Heavenly Father, not only for our candidates, not for our presidential election. We pray for families that are grieving. God, in Dallas, in Detroit, in Louisiana, Father God, we lift up the children, the spouses, the mothers, the friends, the neighbors, God. We lift them up, God, 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 because we understand their hurts. But, God, I pray that you don't leave them in a place of hurts, God. God, we come against a spirit of confusion. Discord, God, envy and strife, God. We bind this murder spirit that flows over our country, Father God. 
God, over the young and the old, the black, the white, the Spanish, the other, God. God, we bind it right now. We come against hate crimes. God, and we loose a spirit of truth. We loose life, God. We loose longevity, Father God, that our sons will rise up, God. They shall live and not die. A spiritual death, emotional death, or physical death. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that all hate crimes will come to a stop. God, and you will give the church the orders to take the head, to be the light, God on where we should go and not go, Father God. God, let this country hear from you. Men of God and women of God, rise up, rise up, rise up all over this nation. Rise up. God, I pray that the prophet will speak and the men and women of God will hear. Thank you for liberation. My country, tears of thee, sweet land of liberty. Thank you for liberation that we can be in liberty to lift up your name, and your name will we lift up. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise God. Amen.